Minecraft 1.20.2 just came out. Let's go ahead and get X-Ray in it. Now, first things first, this video is for Java Edition X-Ray. If you're on Bedrock Edition, there's a link to download Minecraft Bedrock X-Ray, and guess what? It will take you here. There's a video guide similar to this one, but dedicated to Bedrock, and you can even download right from this page. So if you're looking for Bedrock X-Ray, that link is down below, as is the link to here, which is our in-depth guide on getting X-Ray on Java Edition. It goes over everything you need to know, and it is what we're going to be using to get to X-Ray Ultimate in this video. X-Ray Ultimate is the X-Ray texture pack we're going to be using. And by the way, if you prefer a text guide, guess what? We've got that covered here with an in-depth text guide in addition to frequently asked questions and issues you may have and all of that stuff. But nonetheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on the download X-Ray Ultimate button to be taken to X-Ray Ultimate's official download page. Now, once you're here, what you want to do is navigate to the Files tab here. So when you click on the Files tab, it will show you all the versions of X-Ray Ultimate. Now, at the time of recording this, it's not updated to Minecraft 1.20.2, but the 1.20.1 one version works. So what you want to do is hover over this, click on the three dots, and click on download. If you do have a 1.20.2 version, you want to go with that as well if you have it. But let's go ahead and click download file there, and the download begin after a few seconds. While this is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your very own Minecraft server. You can't use X-Ray on a Minecraft server without getting banned. That is, unless you get a server and host it yourself at Simple Game Hosting. There, you make the server's rules so you can X-Ray all you want. At Simple Game Hosting, we have amazing live chat support support, a high quality knowledge base, and you can easily install mod packs, mods, and plugins to your server, allowing you to customize your server however you want. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz sgh. Go start your server the simple way. Nevertheless, our download is now finished. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser, but for us it just downloaded. Now what we want to do is minimize our browser, and then we want to go ahead and move this to our desktop. Now for me, it's going to be in my downloads folder. For you, it may be in a other folder wherever your downloads save to, but for me, they go to my downloads folder. So move this from our downloads folder to our desktop right like so, and then what we want to do is go ahead and open up Minecraft. So open up the Minecraft launcher and just launch into Minecraft 1.20.2, just like you would when you normally play Minecraft. Just open it to the main menu. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu. To install X-Ray, just go to Options, and then you want to go to Resource Packs. And then you want to click the Open Pack folder here. Again, that was from the main menu. Click on Options, Resource Pack, and then Open Pack folder. That will open your Resource Packs folder here. And all you've got to do is drag and drop X-Ray from your desktop into the Resource Packs folder. And boom, the X-Ray texture pack is installed. Right there it is. Now, as you can see... It's red, and it says made for an older version of Minecraft. Now, as I said, in the future, very, very quickly, usually, X-Ray will update to support 1.20.2. And if that's the case, this won't be red, and you'll just be able to click this arrow, and it'll move over. But what happens if you click on the arrow when it's red like this? Well, when you click on it, it's going to say, are you sure you want to load this pack? It was made for an older version of Minecraft. That's okay. Click yes, and boom, it's going to move it over here, and click done. The reason being, there was no major block changes between 1.20.1 and 1.20.2. So this will still work, right? So no issues there, no worries. And now we can go ahead and jump in game, and X-Ray will, in fact, be working. Now, keep in mind that you can only use this on servers you control. This is my simple game hosting server, so there's no issue with me using this here. The problem is, horse are down there, but they're very hard to see. Hold on, let me go down into our mine, just so I can show you how hard ores are to see and how to fix it. So here we are, um, you can see that there are ores, well, they're everywhere, but you just can't see them. And there's two main ways to fix this. One is going to be Optifine. And in the description down below, we have an in-depth guide on how to get Optifine. It goes over everything. Once you get Optifine, you can turn on Fulbright and boom, you'll be able to see all of the ores without any issue. This is up to date to the most recent version of Minecraft. Currently, though, unfortunately, Optifine's not out for Minecraft 1.20.2. It'll probably come out pretty fast, and you better believe that as soon as it is, this will be updated. But right now, you can't use that option. So what do you do? You're going to want to give yourself night vision. How do you do that? Well, what you're going to want to do is use the slash effect command if you have op on a server or if you have cheats enabled on your single player world. So slash effect give and then you want to enter in your username and then you can kind of select which one you want. We're going to go obviously with Minecraft night vision and then you can set the time as infinite. And basically this means that you're always going to have night vision on and boom, you can see all of the ores instantly without Optifine. You are good to go. Right there are our diamonds. However, what if you don't want to do that? Well, you can always clear your effect, by the way, with slash effect clear. And then we want to go who we're clearing, which is Nick's Games, and boom, it's gone. So slash effect clear your username, and it clears the effect. But what if you don't want to do this? Well, you could always go and get night vision potions if you wanted to keep things truer to survival. Go make those. Or, obviously, just go game mode creative 
and then uh, give you give yourself some night vision potions because, uh, well, this is going to work as well, right? Boom, drink the night vision potion, there you go. This does work in the nether as well. So as you can see, we have ancient debris right there. We've got all the quartz and all the other nether ores you could want, the gold, all of that, but mostly... Let's be honest, we're here for Ancient Debris if we're in the Nether. And if we were to go ahead and clear our effect, we would be able to see that, sure enough, it's still seeable, just harder. And I actually find it easier to x-ray in the Nether, even without the Night Vision or Optifine installed. But, um, yeah, this does work in the Nether. So there you have it. That's how you can get x-ray in Minecraft Java Edition. Again, if you want it in Bedrock Edition, there's a guide in the description on how to do that. And we will see you in the next video. Peace.